you just count the rings on a millipede to get its age, Brian? Uh, yes. So that millipede that Steph had was probably, what, about 40 years old? Yeah. Oh, plus minus. Now, this is a hammerkop, of course, everybody, which means hammerhead in the language of Afrikaans. And if you watch it, it has the most infinite patience. Oh, that wasn't very patient <laughs> at all. But it's looking for frogs. That's the thing that it likes to eat. But the precision with which it's able to move is just quite astounding. And, I th and the speed. It will eat frogs as well, but it's largely... F at least fish as well, but it's largely frogs. I just think this is fantastic. Now this bird, while we wait to see if it catches anything, builds a nest that weighs in excess of 200 pounds. 100 kilograms. It's a great big mass of sticks and bark and grass and branches. Sometimes if it's anywhere near a lodge there'll be bits of old shoe, um, some string, you know, whatever it can pick up at the rubbish dump. And it's this huge mass in the fork of a tree into which a hole is dug and it's inside the mud lined chamber that they will give birth. The temperature is beautifully regulated inside there for the little chicks only bird that makes a nest anything remotely the same. 200 pounds. That bird and its mate gathers 200 pounds worth of sticks to build its nest. Let's just see one or two more stabs at the water. But the patience is just so amazing. Completely unlike us, of course, you can't just head off to the pantry to grab something to eat. Hello, Wilma. You say you love this bird. You've never seen one before. I quite like them too, Wilma. But Brian and I were just reminiscing of the tragedies of our childhood when uh, the Hammerkorp used to come through the Johannesburg Gardens and eat all the fish from the fish pond. It was very distressing, wasn't it, Brian? It was. Yes. <laughs> 